Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on best of IPM. My name is Jamin Shah. This particular question is from IPM 2019 QA short answer section. I want you guys to pause the video, solve the question and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. It's given that if mod of x less than 100 and mod of y less than 100, then the value, then the number of integral solution x comma y satisfying the given equation is. So, x can take all the values from minus 100 to plus 100 and similarly y can take all the values from minus 100 to plus 100. We have equation 4x plus 7y is equal to 3. The first thing that I can clearly observe here if x is equal to, if y is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1, that satisfies the inequality. Now we know that if I increase the value of x by 7, that is coefficient of y. And if I decrease the value of y by the coefficient of x, that is by 4, I get this is minus 3. This will also satisfy the given equation. Let us verify. So, 6 for the 24 and 7 into minus 3 is minus 21, that gives me 3. If I again do this plus 7, I will get 13 here. And what I'll get here is minus 7 and this keeps on going and it will keep on going on the other side as well. Now I can decrease this value by minus 7. I get this as minus 8. If I increase this by 5, 4, it gives me 5. We can verify this. 4 into minus 8 is minus 32 and 7 into 5 is 35. So the addition is minus 32 plus 35 that is 3, right? Now I can see here that value of x is changing okay, after interval of 7 and value of y is changing after interval of 4. So, the best way to solve this question is to only find out how many values can x assume. Because if x assumes certain number of values, y will definitely have the corresponding values for x. right? So, if I see here, I have minus 8, then I have minus 1, I have 6, we have 13 and we have so on, right? So, we can use the concept of arithmetic progression here, right? And get the values, number of values that x can assume, right? However, I would want you to solve this question by not using the concept of arithmetic progression. I know that there are total of from minus 100 to plus 100, there are total of 199 numbers with me, right? Minus 100 and plus 100 is not inclusive. If both of them were inclusive, then we would have total of 201 numbers, right? Including 0. I will divide this by 7 and the quotient that I get, okay, it is nothing but as 20, it is 14, 29. So that I have here 14 the 59 and it is 8 and the remainder is 3. Now what to do with this remainder? So understand guys, your answer will be either 28 or it will be 29 plus 1 if one of the first three values in the series is divisible by 7. So the series starts from minus 99 then we have minus 98, then we have minus 97 and so on. These are the first three numbers in the series. I can see that minus 98 is divisible by 7, correct? And hence your answer will be 28 plus 1, that is 29. No use of, okay, I mean, no need to get into the concept of arithmetic progression because you will have to find out what is the first term, okay, then find the last term and then use the formula. You can save the time here if you solve this particular question by this method. Now I want you to 
solve the replica question. Comment your answer in the comment section and we will get back with the correct answer within 24 hours.